I'm going to start out with saying this. I am reserving all of my opinions about what we're about to talk about until this whole thing is completed, okay? I understand how most of you feel. I kind of feel that too. But I'm reserving complete and total judgment of this situation until the actual judgment has been passed on the herein situation we're talking about. Well, I feel like you can only really talk about what has happened what has transpired so, so far. far. And that's been, you know, Johnny Depp has been on the stand and we've heard everything that he's had to say. And Oh, have we heard it? Yes, we have, oh, except yes. for hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. Every time that lawyer interjects, hearsay, your honor, hearsay, and Johnny Depp looks up and goes, what, I didn't even get my sentence? I've been watching I haven't. Shows. I've only been reading the news articles. So. Yeah, I am so addicted to this thing. I've been like, while I'm driving around, I'm just trying to like keep up with all the all the drama and the gossip. So we've got a video here from Heavy Spoilers. It's called Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard Trial Recap, Full Breakdown and Analysis. I am so thankful to Heavy Spoilers for making this because I have actually wanted to talk about this, but like I didn't feel comfortable to talk about it. Like, but I like doing a reaction and kind of like adding on our two cents to like sure. a breakdown analysis thing. It feels a little bit less, um, I don't know pressure our fear collectively was getting something wrong and like no you didn't get all the details right and then someone from amber heard's team is like not amber heard's team but like team amber right would come at us for like misunderstanding something or whatever well she's gonna get her turn and we'll hear what she has to say but anyway i've been watching the long videos i've been watching the short videos the youtube shorts and everything like that and i'm like golly this is crazy it has made for some very very interesting uh youtube shorts to say the least or just short youtube videos of johnny depp just dealing with amber heard's lawyer the short videos make him look really silly is all i'm trying to Say. It makes him look really bad. Well, I just saw one that was titled Amber Heard's lawyer objects to his own question. Yeah. The one that kind of caught me off guard was when the lawyer goes, oh, don't waste the court's time, Mr. Depp. Don't waste the court's time. And Johnny Depp is like, you just spent five minutes looking for a piece of evidence. And then they show you this sped up footage of the lawyer like running around looking for something to hit Johnny Depp with. Oh my God. Don't waste the court's time. Like he's just trying to, yeah, I know. But anyway, it's a team. <laughs> so anyway, um, you guys, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please bell icon, all notifications and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. I don't know how many times we're gonna cover this particular topic. It is something that I've been like anxious to talk about, but didn't really know how, like I said, but a reaction video is like, this is what we do here. And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim to of domestic violence. I said yes. I am. I have nothing further, Your Honor. Okay, so Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard is probably the topic that's the most requested on my channel right now. Wow. The ongoing defamation lawsuit ends up trending every day, and though it's not the kind of topic I tend to cover, I do think it's important to acknowledge because there's a lot of things going on with it. Yeah. The case is tied in so heavily with Depp and Amber's career, and it means a lot for the future of not only the DCEU, but also several films surrounding it. Now I have my own opinions on the case, and it definitely seems like in the court of public opinion that Depp is completely demolishing Heard's team. Right. We're pretty For much now. at the halfway point now, and I really wanted to do more of an analytical video on why that could be, the main factors leading into it, and what the consequences for either side could be if the trial goes in their favour. Now I have my own opinions on who's winning, but I'm going to try and keep them out of this as much as possible as domestic abuse is a very serious subject that I don't really want to make the wrong statement on yeah. by dropping an off-the-cuff comment. Yes. With her also being a figurehead in the Me Too movement, there's some really untold negative things that could come from this if she's found guilty and I don't want to put the impression in anyone's head that women shouldn't be taken seriously because of what the outcome is. Mm. All accusations of domestic abuse should be seen as very serious things. So yeah, just keeping my opinion out of this as much as I possibly can. He is really covering his bases. In 90 seconds, he covered his bases extraordinarily well there. Yeah, and I think that is extremely important to say. If it does come out that she lied or whatever. That's not a reflection on all women exactly. or all women who have said me too. Exactly. Yeah. Because Except it is. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. I'm making a joke. Go ahead. That's what I do. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to commit domestic violence on you. <laughs> there is this bias, I suppose, that, oh, domestic abuse only happens to women. And, you know, according to him, what she said was basically no one's going to believe you, Johnny, if you come out and say that you were abused. This does happen to men as well. And mm -hmm. so, you know, to have a celebrity come out, I hope that that will empower more men in terrible situations of domestic abuse to be able to speak up. Now it will be difficult as this is something that everyone's going to have their own perspective on. But I think in a video like this, it's important to keep my personal view to one side as it can often cloud the analysis. Anyway, like many people, I was very much on the side of Amber Heard when the accusations first came out. 
These were extremely serious things that she was lobbying against Depp, and the images of her bruises and so on definitely made it look like she was the sole victim in all of this. The Me Too movement then happened, and it felt like a very positive thing that was removing lots of predators and abusers from high-profile positions so that they couldn't do it anymore. Is it wrong that when the Amber Heard thing first came out that I was reserving judgment? I was too. And I'm a woman. I, yeah, I was completely reserving judgment when I first heard about this. Because I remember there was this whole kerfuffle at Comic-Con. He had a restraining order against him. And then Warner Brothers had him come out for, I think, Fantastic Beasts or something, like, right away. Which means that they were really in close proximity. Which yeah. means he was violating his restraining order, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I was like, I'm just going to hold, res I'm going to reserve my uh, judgment on this whole thing and wait a little while. I must admit, I wasn't a massive Johnny Depp fan. And though I liked some of his movies, he wasn't someone whose career I followed all the time. Now, the papers completely tore him apart. And there was very much a pylon on the internet to the point it became difficult for the guy to make a public appearance without being called a wife beater. I remember when the guy appeared on stage as Grindelwald during a Fantastic Beast panel, and yet it was a very bad look due to the accusations. However, over time there started to be people going to his defense, including high profile celebrities and his loyalist supporters. Lots of evidence came to the forefront that seemed to debunk all of Hurt's claims, and over time, things have kind of swung in the favor of Johnny, with it seeming less and less likely that he was the only person at fault. Now, Depp and Heard had a face-off in court in the UK, and he ended up losing it, which pretty much meant he had to be ousted from Fantastic Beasts. Mm. Though there was lots of evidence that he supplied showing Heard was in fact the abusive one, this verdict very much meant that Warner Brothers had to let go of Depp from one of their flagship franchises. Now, Heard managed to keep her role in Aquaman, even with all the photos of bruises, Depp's injuries, and the recordings. A petition started online to have her removed from the role, and it currently has millions of signatures on it, but up till now, she's remained in place. Now that kind of takes us to the current case, which is now on its ninth day. Things have done a complete 180 since the original statement by Heard, and it seems like everyone's on Depp's side. There's lots of comments that I've seen asking why Depp has even come to court after the previous loss, I think when you look at what's happened, he has very little to lose. Yeah. Depp has been branded a wife beater, and if he loses, he's still going to be called that. This is at least getting his side of the story out there because it's rare that men are taken as seriously as women in domestic abuse cases. Mm. On the other side of this, if Amber loses, it not only destroys her career, but it potentially exposes her for what she really is. Now for this part of the video, I want to firstly discuss the psychological aspects that are in effect to show why Deb is clearly more favorable over Heard. This boils okay. down to the legal team's approach and how it very much mirrors what Deb is accusing Amber of. Now, court hearings are very different in normal arguments and interactions. In real life, if someone was standing around saying you'd done this and that, you'd probably stand up, deny it, argue with them, and then that would escalate. However, in a court, people have to remain silent whilst the person they're against testifies, and thus they can't respond or apply to it. Because of this, the legal team very much becomes the voice of their client, and it's in this that it can also leave an impression on the jury. Now, during the statement by Depp and Heard's marriage counselor, she said that Johnny didn't really have a voice in their sessions. Amber constantly talked hmm. over the top of him and would interrupt whenever he said something that wasn't going her way. She's allowed to say that? That's a marriage counselor. I, She's allowed to share I, that level of information? That's very, very privileged information. I thought that's like client. I think in certain situations, your psychologist, your therapist is allowed to share that information. And I believe that in a court hearing that is probably one of the wow. rare situations. I am never going back to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just, just don't go to court. Right. Like, no, to, I know. Yeah. I know, I'm just joking. This is very much reflected in Hurt's legal team. It's getting to the point that there's TikTok videos memeing how many objections and comments like hearsay are yeah. said by Hurt's lawyers. Objection calls for Yeah, this is... <laughs> he, he didn't say anything. Let, let me ask you a different question, Mr. Depp. Yes. Um, Let's let him object to another one. <laughs> He'd had a conversation with Ms. Hurd. He waits. Exactly. <laughs> Let's move beyond the car. Like, you know what? His reaction to the situation is what's also playing to his favor. One of the things you mentioned to me was they're both actors. And that makes this even more complicated because it could be that they're acting in court, right? Both of them. That's their forte. You could use that to your advantage. And even if it's not acting per se, they are people who are comfortable talking in front of a lot of people so they can seem more composed, yeah, put yeah. together. I have seen Johnny Depp in interviews, and this is very much how he behaves in interviews, very low-key and... 
slow. And the way he's reacting is actually gold for him, in my opinion. Irrespective of some of the things that were mentioned, which are awful, some of the text messages that he exchanged with... Um, oh, Paul Bettany. I think it was Paul Bettany. I can't remember who he was exchanging text with, but they were some intense text messages, right? Anyway, that aside, his behavior here is working in his favor. It's just sort of like, this is kind of hilarious, right? Like, we can all... Yeah, like, we can all... You can all see this, right? Like, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like, I can't even get two words in edgewise for hearsay. <laughs> yeah. Also, the lawyer's behavior is working against him because when Working someone against the, the, the their lawyer, own team. when you're trying to stop someone from saying something by constantly objecting or saying yeah. hearsay, yeah. it makes the people listening go, Wait, but why say? though? Because yeah. what was he gonna say? Just makes you why are curious. you trying to shut him up? He said, Yes, they had. He just waits. <laughs> it appears that Miss Heard had told hearsay or. What she would like for him to cook. That's hearsay, I guess. <laughs> and I just serves off of the truth of the matter asserted. He got it. Okay, all right, well then. I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> now what this does is that it reinforces the idea in the jury that Johnny doesn't have a voice. Like the marriage counsellor said, Johnny keeps getting interrupted, so her defence doing this makes it seem like Heard also did the same thing. Now on the flip side of this, Johnny's defence are quite chilled, laid back and for the most part, right. they let people talk and answer the questions without interrupting them, so it seems like Johnny is that way too. The jury's subconscious will be affected by this, so that Amber's side it seems like the aggressive one. Mm -hmm. Hell, it's even gotten so bad that Heard's lawyers are objecting their own questions. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on oh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection, here's hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, you said it's... <laughs> oh my god, it's a freaking circus. That looks really bad. Yeah. Okay. I see that that looks really bad. We can all see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try to see it from the lawyer's perspective try he knows that he is dealing with probably the biggest case of his career the biggest case and it can make or break the rest of his career potentially sure right like johnny cochran in the oj trial like it could make or break you, you you know your career going forward there's a lot of pressure on him he knows he's being televised or at least he's, these videos are making the rounds like he knows it's going to happen and he has been so ritualistically saying hearsay that it just comes out almost like he's pavlov dogged himself yeah <laughs> you know he got into such a routine of saying it that he's like he didn't, he probably didn't even mean to say that. Potentially the answer to that question, he's like, oh, maybe that's not like the answer that I want. The first lawyer asked a question and the witness answered. And then he was going to ask a second question to like mm -hmm. support that and take it down yeah. the, whatever route he wanted it to go down. Yeah. And then, then this lawyer, before he could do that, was just like, objection. And like, oh shit, whoops. Yeah. Teamwork, you yeah. guys. I mean, these are long days. It's a yeah. very intense trial. Yeah. I'm trying to, because we're looking at a snippet, some context to support it, but we're looking at a snippet. It still looks really bad, though. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. It's really bad, and the other aspects that I think they're failing on is the fact they're going after drug abuse rather than domestic abuse. Throughout right, the trial, yeah. they try to expose that Johnny was addicted to drugs and also alcohol. If you do a statement like this once, it can be quite shocking especially with Depp being such a big star. We typically tend to think of actors as role models, so if used effectively, this can be very, very damaging. However, if you keep mentioning it, it normalizes the thing so that the shock factor is removed, and what you're left with is us hearing the same point over and over and over. Being addicted to drugs doesn't mean that you're an abusive person, so it's belaboring the point a bit to constantly keep bringing this up time and time again. Did you hear about the mega pint? The what? So there was a video uh, Amber Heard took secretly of like Johnny Depp going around the house, like slamming doors and slamming uh, cupboards and stuff like that, which was making her feel uncomfortable and, and you know, understandably, understandably so. I was watching that video right after watching a video about how he basically got abused when he was in the shower. He like just tried to separate himself from her mm -hmm. and she came knocking on his door and something had happened where he kind of slightly opened the door a little bit. I'm paraphrasing, obviously, just for a chart's sake. He slightly opened the door a little bit, and she was trying to get in, and he was like, no, 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 now's not a good time. Like, we need some space. And he tried to close the door, and she goes, oh, my foot. He opened the door a little bit and knelt down to look at her foot, and then she kicked the door open and went right into his face. 
that was his his testimony that I saw. Oh. Anyway, later on, uh, I saw a video of uh, Amber Heard like recording of Johnny Depp walking around the kitchen, slamming the cupboards and whatnot. Like she was fr- apparently frightened, so she was recording, and then Johnny Depp pours himself this big old pint of of, of uh, wine. After the video concludes, the lawyer asks, "So, would you uh, agree that you poured yourself a mega pint of of wine?" He goes, "A mega pint." And I think Johnny Depp said, I think I poured myself a generous glass of wine. Yeah. (laughs) The situation called for it. This is made worse by the fact that the evidence they have for Johnny being abusive is very, very small and nothing that can be completely proven. The counsellor said there was mention of an open-handed slap during a therapy session, but it's inconsequential when played next to the recordings of Heard on tape admitting to hitting Johnny. To me, the drug thing should be the first step that sets up Heard's team leading into the domestic abuse. However, when the drugs take the focus you completely lose the attention on the domestic side of it and end up just putting all your eggs in the proverbial basket of that, which doesn't necessarily give weight to any of the accusations. So I think the two main reasons that Heard's team is failing is because they're very much acting in attack mode, but providing very little behind what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So they're going off on a certain path and trying to stop someone from giving their statement whilst also interrupting the show, they have very little to actually give reason to why they're objecting. Now in recent days, some of the audio played by the lawyers was really bad, and Johnny referred to there being a bloodbath like there was at the island. Depp wasn't asked questions on this, so he couldn't elaborate, which, again, backs up the idea that he's not really getting a voice, even though he has been testifying a lot. Now, context like this is important, and several texts have been presented by Heard's yeah, okay. team. But- so, like, this, this, these are the texts of uh, Bettany. Paul uh, Bettany. Paul Bettany, yeah. Let's burn Amber. Having thought it through, I don't think we should burn her. Like, th- like these sorts of texts is what I was talking about. Like, let's drown her before we burn her. I will burn her. She- and this is before they got married. Right. But, like, okay. They could be joking. Yeah, it's out of taken, context. Taken out of context, it, you know, it does look kind of terrible. But there's certain times when you're so mad at someone, you're just like, ugh. Yeah. I wish all these awful things on them, but you really don't. Yeah. You're just like venting. Hyperbolic, yeah. Yeah, you're hyperbolic. And it's hard when you're looking at text because it's so easy to misconstrue without context. No, for sure. I mean, admittedly, when I heard those texts, I was like, oh. (laughs) <laughs> like that's pretty bad. That's yeah. that's really bad. That sounds awful. And the thing about it is, he obviously didn't do it. Like he, he yeah. obviously, like we're here in court to talk about it. She's fine. She's over there. I mean, fine is relative, right? But yeah. I'm just saying, like he didn't burn her alive. Between Depp and Paul Bettany, they talk about burning her, doing stuff with her corpse, and it looks really bad. However, Depp explained that he has a dark sense of humor, and that these are direct yeah. quotes from Monty Python in a scene about burning a witch. It kind of strips Heard's team of them being the ammo that they initially thought it to be. Mm. And there's also the Milani makeup statement. Heard's evidence has been questioned highly since she made her statement about Johnny, and she's often regarded as making the whole thing up and faking attacks for sympathy. There are several instances where she's apparently been heavily battered, but the next day when she's appeared on TV, she's been absolutely fine. During a statement, her lawyers showed a makeup palette. I think, I think it's called a palette, no idea. Anyway, they showed a, a Milani makeup palette and had apparently been in her purse for their entire relationship. They said it had been what she'd used to cover up her bruises, but Milani put out a post saying the kit wasn't available until they'd already broken up. Kit. I think kit is right. So anyway, this kind of shuts down her argument even more. And though the jury might not end up factoring this into their final thoughts, it is important to bear in mind. Hold on. Wow. I'm not, I'm I'm pretty, I'm pretty well versed in the makeup. Okay. And Milani is a drugstore brand. I haven't used that palette, so I'm not sure. I can't say to how good it is, but I have definitely tried to color correct before. And maybe I'm a doofus and I don't know how to do it. But like, if, if that stuff can't even cover my dark eye circles, how's it gonna cover a bruise? That's all. I, I did wonder like- about that because they were saying that next day, the next day she looked all right. I'm like, well, isn't there makeup? Like, can't makeup cover bruises? It can, I suppose. Maybe, maybe she's better at doing it than me, but like, I don't know if a Milani palette from you know your local right aid is gonna do the job like maybe a creolin brand yeah yeah the way that the trial ramped up was a very good strategy by depp's team and they brought in recordings where he talked about possibly taking his own life this lay the groundwork for how herd had pushed him to the brink and it was absolutely devastating to hear they then topped it off by playing audio clips of the argument between depp and herd Did you hear what he said? i don't care i don't care you do. there's plenty of things you've done plenty Things you fucking done that were absolute fucking lies. I didn't I'm, I'm not ever even fuck with you about it. So anyway, don't leave it. So I'll see you in a bit. Yeah? Is that what matters? You're lying. 
Is this what matters to you, your party? Your lies, I never love you. And what we're talking about tonight is what? Who are you? They then went into depth confronting her and trying to work with her to confront the media. Hey, we just gotta stop this. Just gotta stop it. I don't know how to get my um, reputation back. We write a letter together. Is that me? Saying that we're gonna take this out of the public eye. Saying that we're gonna try and work this out on, on our own saying that the media has created such a fucking hateful storm that it's sickening that we love each other and that we want to make sure each other is okay have we had fights in the past have we had this or whatever fuck it they already know all that shit don't matter here's the deal no it matters it makes, I, I have been I have that you have no idea every ounce of my credibility has been taken from. I mean, and done so in a dishonest way. You know, Amber, it, for it, abu well, on, you well, know, the abuse, the abuse thing is is is, is we've got to deal with that. Yeah, we've got to I, deal I with that. Don't Amber. have any way of my credit is is my credibility. You know what I? Don't, I and I, why I, did you put that out there? I did not. You forced me. Your team forced me to by going on the offense. I, I didn't, didn't force you to. The I promise. Look up the timeline to these things. Everything is. Forget it. Forget it. You don't believe what I say. You don't believe what I say. But I. I did not. I did not choose this. You I, every step of the way has been an offense. I, I did not put this anywhere. I didn't. Uh, let me talk to the fucking team. I did not call the cops. I need to put the I.O. called the cops. You told I.O. to call the cops. I did not call the cops and I did not give them any statement when they came. I've been trying to protect you. I you told I.O. to call the cops. Call. When? When? While it, while it was happening? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because the last time that it got crazy between us, I really did think I was going to lose my life, and I thought you would do it on accident. And I told you that. I said, oh my god, I thought the first time... Amber, I, I oh, lost a fucking finger, it. man, come on. I had a fucking, I, I had a fucking, a I, mineral can, a jar of can of mineral spirits thrown on my nose. I, I, at this point, it ramped up to what is very much going to be remembered as the quote that I think will be what people take from this trial. I, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the see what the jury and judge think. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. This then got asked as the final question. And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim too of domestic violence. I said yes. I am. I have nothing further, Your Honor. It's a massive mic drop and such a major way to end Depp's statement that it will be the thing many people remember him for saying. Very well planned out, and it completely rocks Heard's defense. Now, you might have noticed externally that the media have stopped spinning it in a certain way. They used to use quite bad headlines about Depp and how he was a wife beater, but now it seems a lot more balanced. Now from here, I think that Warner Brothers are left with very little option over what to do with Amber. Unless mm -hmm. she's vindicated in the next three weeks, then they have to get rid of her. Regarding the media, their job, unfortunately, is to spin things to be as sensationalized as possible in order to get you to buy their paper, in order to get you to click on their article, in order to get you to read and then be subjected to ads. That's what they do. It's become this monster of a system where it's like, okay, if there's this thing, we're gonna magnify it and make it look, you know, as awful as possible irrespective yeah. of the facts instead of getting all the facts gathering all the data and presenting it in an unbiased manner it, it, it already has this weird favoritism built into it where you're going to look at someone you looked up to as this awful degenerative human being without knowing all the information that you need to know sure. to, to make a, a fair assessment opinion of the situation that's fucked <laughs> that is so crazy i didn't actually hear that 
uh, until this video. I'm surprised you didn't bring up the human feces. Oh, I mean, there's so much here yeah, that but, you could bring up. It's a 15, um, it's a just under 16 minute video. Yeah, instead of calling it a mic drop, I would have called it a poop drop. Yeah, I guess mic drop is more, it's no, no room for jokes, right? Yeah, no. No, if you don't know, I'm sure most of you watching this stuff. Amber Heard went off to Coachella. Coachella, and, yeah. And, and Johnny Depp wanted to go back to his place to get some of his, you know, precious items. And the, the guy who watches his place was like, yeah, you, now's not a good time. And sent him a photo of his bed. And on Johnny Depp's side of the bed was poop. And Amber Heard later on apologized going, that wasn't me, that was our Yorkies. And Johnny Depp was like, the teacup Yorkies? The little <laughs> dogs? No, Th that's, that's human shit. That's it. Human sized shit on my side, on my side of the bed. It doesn't look good. No. <laughs> You know. Don't know how they're going to do it. Just have Mira drown off screen or something. People <laughs> don't seem to care. And it might be the one thing that finally unites all of the DC fandom. Now, firing her, they have to do it because they very much set the standard by firing Johnny. Yeah. And it'll look like double standards if they don't get rid of her. They kind of made the rules. I think a lot of anger around this case boils down to the double standard surrounding the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's a really bad luck. And either way, they might get rid of her even if she wins. She's even getting booed leaving the court, and the petition against her is constantly clocking up names. Mm. Jason Momoa even followed Johnny Depp on Instagram recently, and with him being the star of Aquaman, it could show how things are going. Now, I have heard that Warner Brothers kind of preempted this trial, and that they ended up cutting down Amber's role by quite a lot. Wow. They could even end up recasting before that movie, depending on what the cost and backlash is. And that's pretty much how we view the trial, and why we think it's going a certain way. Like I've said, we're only halfway through at the moment, so it could all really change, and yeah. things like this can reverse on one piece of evidence, so mm. I wouldn't say it's in the bag for Johnny. We will find out who wins very soon, but in the meantime, I want to hear your comments, whether you'd like to see more coverage, and how you think it's going. Wow. This is not great for Warner Brothers. Look, I, uh, here's what I'll say. I have dated my fair share. None of them have ever shit in my bed. I'll tell you that much. That's crazy. <laughs> that is like really, really crazy. That's like an extra special level of crazy. She shit in his bed to make a statement while he was gone. Yeah. Like, that, like I, that's why I'm surprised he didn't mention it because I'm like, I get all the, the stuff he mentioned was really important. He was like really narrowing it down to the most important details. But that to me is actually an extremely important detail, as silly as that might sound. She took a shit in his bed to make a point. Do you know anyone who's done that? You know, you've known some crazy broads in your time. Do you know? I've only ever listened to a radio show where a woman admitted to pooping in a bag. One woman pooping yeah. in a bag. Wearing gloves, obviously. Taking the poop and putting it under her ex-boyfriend's car door handle. This That's pretty a, crazy. This is his bed. I know. I don't know. We have yet to see like her side of things, right? So yeah. this is obviously like at this point in time. We might come to find out that uh, it wasn't Amber Heard. It was her best friend who came over and said, I'm going to shit in Johnny's side of the bed. It had nothing to do with maybe. her and she just sort of had to deal with it. Yeah, maybe. And own it so that Johnny Depp wouldn't hate her best friend <laughs> in case things worked out. Yeah, who knows? What I will say after hearing all this stuff so far is it seems like there are two people in an extremely toxic relationship. I'm sure things happened, things were said that were mean on both sides and maybe things got heated, violent, potentially on both sides. Like, you know how crazy things can get? Like, if you have an argument, like, it can go kind of wild and maybe you don't mean to do something and then suddenly something happens and you're like, oh my God, I didn't mean to yeah, yeah. do that because yeah. it was crazy. So, I mean, I'll be interested to hear. Well, what's working in Johnny Depp's favor also is the fact that he doesn't have a history of that. I mean, at least that's what's been shown so far. The skeptical part of me goes, yes, Johnny Depp does not have a history of that that we know of. Like, yeah. the thing about it is, just like with the Ezra Miller situation, like, people can get paid off. That's the skeptical part of me going, just the, like, that's the, what, that fraction of a percent possibility that, you know, oh, he doesn't have a history of it, as far as we know, because that's, people were... You get to go to Tahiti today. <laughs> I'll pay for your vacation if you just say that I never acted weird. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just like, it's con this is conjecture. My hope is that the truth is what uh, comes out and yeah. um, this all gets sorted and maybe Johnny Depp can come back. Unfortunately though, I mean, he's probably right in that this sort of thing will follow him around forever. I don't fully agree with that. I think that he has a redemption story here potentially. Like if he's exonerated here completely, I feel like he's got a comeback story that's strong. If he comes back into, you know, whatever the film is that he comes out in first, I bet you people are gonna come out in droves to watch it. Yeah, I mean, his supporters will definitely support yeah. him, but I feel like the stain of this, there's still bound to be some people who are 
skeptical. Sure. You got yeah. Team Amber out there who's like, no, no, no. I think, yeah. yeah. I, when you get to the point of like conspiracy theory and it's like, it doesn't matter what evidence you present, they are still going to hold steadfast to their false belief. I'm just so curious to see what's going to happen next with this. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.